why they have survived in our imagination is because in some respects there's a vestige of what it is to be human. It's that inquisitive spirit to constantly go back to the past, to understand what our forebearers had indeed achieved. All ancient societies were contemporaries, and they do say something, their monuments, be them grand to the point of being wonders of the ancient world, or being minuscule and miniature, all say something about those societies of the past. If we let the stones and the art and the architecture and the daily utensils of life speak to us, and if we do allow them, those objects, to speak to us, basically what we have is that there is the past and the present are but one and the same. It is a remarkable list that has transcended the ages and transcended physical reality itself. Of them all, only the pyramids still exist. The others are just memories, but powerful ones. centuries, the ancient wonders have shed their skins of brick, stone, wood, and metal to work their magic lure directly on the human imagination. Bridging the gap between us and a world impossibly distant, drawing us endlessly back in search of history.